All right, you guys, if y'all want a chance to win these pan and bread ones for free, all you guys have to do is go subscribe to my channel and go like this video and comment down below. We're picking one winner on the next video. So good luck. Go do that. Yeah. Yo, check it. Cool kicks. What up? Selling cool bricks. Got 40 on me. Call it cool tits. What else? Spit something, bro. That's it. That's all I got for you. I ain't got none. We not Let's go. Let's go here. back. Cook cooking on the cool. I just see him on my diet. You know, this isn't healthy. But I want you to analyze Rami's. Chill. I get the crib tour. You gotta pay extra for the crib we tour. We gotta get a crib tour, bro. Because this is OD. How old are you now? 19? 20? I turned 20 this month, next month. That's pretty impressive. Cost of living in LA is very expensive. This is a beautiful spot. Look at all these little decorations. We're here for a sneaker tour, but we might have to give you a tour of this whole thing, especially a snack bar. A snack bar in the cut. Hey, I got an apartment tour on my channel, so if you guys haven't watched that, just go on my channel and check that out. But y'all are here for the sneakers, so what y'all want to see? Talk to us, man. What do you got? How long you been collecting for? The people on Cookie Channel might not know. All right, so I've been collecting since I was like 13. Not really collecting. I've been in the shoes since I was like 13. I started working at Cookies when I was 13. So I'd say majority of these shoes came from there. But this is like, this is pretty much majority of my shoes. I have a sneaker collection on my channel also, but since I uploaded that video like a year ago, I got rid of a lot of stuff since I moved out. So I sold a lot of stuff, but I still have a lot of like my favorite shoes. Off-white, or not off-white, all-white Air Forces. You gotta have- You have that many? <laughs> At least like five in the rotation. They're all beat now, though, so we need some new ones. Sandy got one on his feet. It's like the a necessity. Uh, I just really have shoes that I like. I don't know. Most of them I wear. I just got these. Oh, shit. You seen these, Adele? Oh, are those They're the ones that smell. Them? They smell? They're Cinnamon Toast Crunch Crocs, but they smell like Cinnamon Toast Crunch too. Man, they smell like Mommy's Please Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop it. But What's yeah. your favorite? What's your top three right now in, in a rotation? What you be rocking nowadays? That I wear? Mm -hmm. Top three. Purple lobsters. Wow. I wear these a lot. You used to wear the turtle does back in the day. It's my Peters. I wear these for Remember the gym. Like now, Look at them joints. I wear I these for the gym. Barbecue machine. They still go for a lot. Look, it's a hole in the back. But no, purple lobsters. I wear these like every day now. The Travis Scott's. These are beat. And then I don't wear these too often, but like you feel me? Whenever you need a heater, you got the off whites. The good is that the most expensive shoe in the collection? Now it is. I used to have the red Octobers. I need to get those back. But Frankie just got a shout out Frankie. Yeah, shout out Frankie Figueroa. We got the shadow, uh, shadow, shadow backwards. That's a classic. This was like one of the, I had. I've had these since they came out in 2016. That's I got these. crazy. These go up. These go, these go for like two G's now. Brand Guess new. how much I got them for? Five hundred. Three fifty. Three fifty. New. DS. Hook it. Hook it. And I wore them, and I can still probably get like a thousand now. I'd say. What's your greatest flip ever? From being a reseller for the last six years, what do you think the your biggest flip was? I think it's just one one shoe. One shoe. I remember you were there with me. Remember the Belugas, the V2, when they first came out. The we had we yeah. went to the Shoe Palace raffle. Retail. Yeah, I hit it for retail. I didn't, I only had two hundred fifty dollars in my savings. I kid you guys not. I had two hundred fifty dollars in my savings. I'm like fourteen years old. We go to the Beluga V2 raffle. I won the raffle. I got it for retail, and then we put it in the store, and I got a thousand for it, like two hours. Sick. In the same day. And you was like fifteen then. I was like, I was a kid. But yeah, now since then, I don't really resell like that. Like I used to resell more. Now I just, if I want shoes, I just get them, like to wear. So what are you doing in your free time now? Do YouTube, YouTube. I'm trying to do this YouTube. Hey, I might become a rapper. I got the studio. In we the got club. a whole studio in this shit right here. If this video gets ten thousand likes, we might just make a song. I don't know. <laughs> you know no. what's crazy about the shoe game right now? This shoe should be. What do you think? If you didn't know, there's nothing about shoes. You, how much you think that shoe's worth? Like it's a good shoe. I, it, like four hundred dollars, right? Yeah. But it, this shoe on StockX right now only two hundred dollars. It blows my mind. It's, we're going through a recession, kids. People, consumer spending is at an all-time low from what I heard. But we're blessed and fortunate. People have been shopping with us and rocking with us for a minute. What's your favorite shoe in my collection? And those three Gucci flip flops that I know you'd be acting bad in them, Joey. Shout out to Pluto. All of them. Well, you got flavors the in the Gucci flip flops. Nah, that just cut funny. though. Yeah, man. Comment down below what's your favorite shoe in the collection. If you guys could pick one and wear one, what would y'all wear? Well, I, mean, I might have to fight you for having these in their collection. What the fuck? I remember these. Remember the these? Greatest, bro. The, these are the most comfortable shoe I have, bro. Back in the day, I remember this shoe. Remember we used to sell these at Cool Case. Adidas Ultra Boost and NMBs were like the hottest shits. They were selling like dunks back in the day. Mm. This shoe, back in the day, we used to sell for like 400 all day. The multi um, Ultra Boost. 
This shit's crazy. I got these. I like these a lot too. These ain't the black cats. These are the ones with the fur on them too. These are like are they, different. Are these I don't ever see. Nah. nah, it's a normal one. Sick. Let's, let's get a. What else do we got? Tour. We got a cars. I mean, a bear brick right here. We got the bear bricks. All right, we got the bear bricks. We got the Mirakami Perrier. Hey, this ain't the regular one. This is the. Yo, you're such a high beast. We got the. We got the. Going you got Magic Johnson. Shout out AI. AI. I think this is. I don't know who that is. I think that's like Peanut. Peanut something. This is Astro Boy. Sour Patch, my favorite candy. Just look around. Diary There's no candy. way you're reading none of this diary. I've read, I've read every single one of those, actually. Why you got a mic in this joint? Does this joint work? We got a karaoke in case the blends want to do some karaoke. You be acting bad with blends in this joint? Right. Yo, what up? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ladies, what up? Hey, I'm about to be, you know, I'm a, a part-time MC at nighttime. Talk to all the people that be in LA. Yo, what up? Yeah. Okay, baby. Yeah, where can he at? Day to day basis, all we say is make them locked up. That shit was ass. We're never making it out the hood. Kenny needs you to rap. So listen, Kenny, baby. It's only freestyle Friday. Santi driving the big spill. That's the highway. Slight waves. Driveway. Driveway. Bust down roll the avalanche. Bust down roll the avalanche. Yeah, my bitch is average. Cock connect can never shoot hoops. And that's why he's so fucking average. Yeah. I'm taking shots at him. What up? Hey, Gideon. Talk your shit. Let's go. Hey, Santi's got a, uh, Robbie got a uh, nice vibe in here. You can bring a shorty in this joint and catch a big vibe. We'd be doing karaoke yeah, show, night show and shit. the fire pit, Ronnie. Look, fire pit fire pit hey, look, hey, look how he turns the fire pit on with a remote, look. Where's the fire pit? Jeez! Nah, I don't think I've seen no 19 year old that have a crib like this out here. No, man, it's a blessing. I appreciate you for everything. I appreciate you guys. Go turn me up. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. We're turning this shit all the way up. I'm about to move out next month, I'm gonna be honest, because I'm having problems in my apartment. I can't tell you guys yet, but I love this place, but I'm having problems, so I'm unfortunately gonna have to move out by the end of July, but it's cool, I'm gonna find a better place. So if you guys wanna see my new apartment tour, just stay tuned. I'm gonna have a studio and everything in that joint. Really? A real everything. studio? I have everything in that shit. Like how much does this something like this cost? That's not that much. It isn't? This joint's lit. Yeah. Cool. Shout out to LA Rams. Make a song, bro. Look at the details on this house. We got Kit Kat's mint version. I'll probably take that. <laughs> is this where the magic happened? Wait, whose jersey is that? Chill, chill, chill. What's going on? Yeah, we just seen your, your, your room's really clean. Right? Yeah. This room's pretty clean. I see Sati shit. His shit is disgusting. You ain't never seen my shit. I swear I have. So, Sa and Rami, we you, got a lot of, you got a lot of snacks over here. We try to stay healthy. You're clearly in a healthy body shape. How do you pull it off by doing this and, and, and this? I mean, it's not, these are like not too unhealthy. These it are is. like snacks. I just don't eat, I don't eat too much. I ain't, like, I got, I got some fat on me. You feel me? I just drink a lot of water. Yeah, I work out, you feel me? Bunch of water. I drink, drink a lot of water. It's more for your guests, this. right? This is, I, I really don't touch this at all. For your guests. Like, yeah, this is, yeah. Y'all enjoy this shit. So, Rami, but, for, for a 19 year old, you have any words of advice out there for someone out there that's trying to take the path you took? So, this is pretty impressive for 18. When 19 year old, when I was in 19, I was fucking basically homeless. I was a broke college kid. Yeah, no money, I was in debt. This is a true story. And I had a, I lived in a bunk bed actually my freshman year in college. But I'd say don't compare your process to anybody else. Just because I'm 19, like I've been. Like I've been working like since I was like 13. So don't compare your process to anybody else and get discouraged by that. If you believe in something, go hard for it. And yeah, just work hard. It'll pay off. What do you think? You're successful. Like you're grown. Like you Forbes. Like you, like you like you've a lot of accomplishments by your age. Like what are you gonna tell the youngest out there that want? Consistency is key. The reason he's here right now is since 13, he's dead ass. Probably allocated at least 30 to 40 hours a week since then. Maybe a couple weeks off for vacation, but literally. You literally been grinding for a minute. People don't realize that. Same thing with me. I used to be in the store every fucking single day. Okay. But in order to be successful, you gotta put those long nights, early mornings. Remember, we kept opening stores and we was fucking there all, like ten days in a row doing construction. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. And then shit happens. Remember, we got broken into a couple of times, but we bounced back. Bigger blessings are on the way. We're working on big, big projects. TV show on the way. Big tech projects. Yeah. Rami knows the rest. It's a oh. team effort. Literally, without him, I can't be where I'm at. Without me, he can't be where he's at. It's a team effort. Same little Santi, same little Kenny. Same little everyone that's been with a Cold Kicks family for a minute. So in order to be successful, you have a solid team because no one can do it by themselves. Except God. Yeah. yeah. Yo, yo. Hey, this is nice, Burberry. I'd be undercutting the cool and shit. Yo, that was you that'd be undercutting the cool? Cooking. Be low I got that for like $80. I don't know how much it goes for. 
Nah, they cook you then because I joined twenty dollars and stuff. Yo, listen, we got K Baby in the motherfucking building right now. I know y'all been missing him. I see the comments. Put Kenny on the channel. Put Kenny on the channel. Kenny, talk to him real quick, man. What's up, dog? What it is? What it ain't? I'm at God deal. Reunited again. We got a beat for you. I got a beat for you. You I see, ain't about to rap. You see the mic, right? We got a professional studio in the middle. Kenny, just give me at least three bars real quick for the man. I'm so sorry. Video, nah, 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 nah. It's time to make an announcement. Wait, what announcement? So my YouTube people, man, I don't rap no more. I'm done. I'm retired. Why? I'm taking my time somewhere else. Um, I'm just done, man. I don't rap no more. Yeah. Sign a deal? Nah, nah, not even that. It's just what happened. I'm not rapping no more. I'm, I think I'm gonna do start doing like talk shows and stuff. You know what I mean? And so you know, I want to talk to the people. So while I'm at it, I'm gonna talk to the people right now. See my man Rami, man. When I first met him, story time. little dude, man. Story time, right? Story time. We're like a podcast right now. Little dude, you feel me? Young, kept on grinding, kept on coming to the store, but, uh, working for free, uh -huh. no just because he wanted to be in the store, you feel me? Oh, a lot of people would have folded, man. A lot of people would be like, man, I ain't getting paid, I'm not doing this. Look at him now, where he at? And remember, Cool Kicks was a, 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 a small store at the time. This wasn't what it is today. Yeah, so yeah. Rami didn't know what the, what yeah, he, no, what he the destiny was. He was working on just uh, a faith. You know what I mean? Like a leap of faith. Took a leap of faith. I'm gonna do it. That was cool kiss was nothing, bro. They used to have beat used 350s on the in the glass case. He was still there, grinding but hustling. Now where he's at. More of the story, I'm gonna keep it short. The boy's back. I'm gonna start telling y'all, give y'all motivation, bro. Back again, bro. You wanna break the oh news God, right now? Yeah. What, what's the news? Cool Kids Podcast coming soon? Cool Kids Podcast coming soon. But another one that's coming soon as well. We got the Cool Kids Podcast. We're gonna bring dope guests. We're gonna take it back to like the 90s, man, back in the day. I've been telling Santi I always want to do this. I want to give y'all an opportunity to call in to a phone number, which we're going to start to play on the YouTube. You're going to call in, you're going to address me with your issues. I think I'm, I've been told by a lot of people I'm really good at giving advice. I'm really good at giving people, you know, the one two punch of what they should do, in my opinion. I'm not biased. You got so, advice for a single person? No, no, I'm going to save that. I'm going to say that. So, what we're going to do is this is how we're going to do it. You're going to call it to the number soon. Give me some time. We're going to put it together. You're going to call it to that number soon. It's going to be a hotline. People are going to call in. I'm going to accept it. I'm going to give y'all advice. I'm going to give you relationship advice. If there's some stuff going on, I'm going to tell y'all what it is and what you should do and what you shouldn't do. It's coming to you soon. But anyway, Cool Kicks Podcast and that coming soon. I'm out, man. Peace.